This is Fox 5 News, the most powerful name in local news. A high rise goes up in flames on Governor's Island. That's what's happening at 1030. Good evening. I'm Rosanna Scotto. I'm Ernie Ganastas, but this fire was set for good reason. Fox 5's Mike Sheehan has the story. Deadly fires in high-rise apartments are often driven by the wind, and that's why the FDNY is trying out some new strategies to fight these awful blazes. You can call this vacant seven-story apartment building on Governor's Island a lab of sorts. It's been wired with sensors and heat-resistant cameras to record temperature, pressure, and smoke movement of a fire driven by wind. This video shows the blaze starting in a bedroom at the upper left-hand corner, and then hot smoke moves into the living room and eventually to the hallway and staircase, where in a matter of minutes the temperature goes from 71 to 1,500 degrees Fahrenheit. We activated a fan at the lobby level of this building on the first floor. We were able to, within less than a minute, drop the temperatures in the attack stairwell from 1,700 degrees to 50 degrees. Since 1980, 11 people, including four city firefighters, have been killed in high-rise fires and many more severely injured. So experts are looking at new tools, like a thermal blanket, which, when lowered over a broken window, stops the wind, reducing the internal temperatures from 1,500 to 700 degrees in less than a minute. Portable fans drive smoke and heat out of cramped staircases and hallways, allowing firefighters easier access. We need the ability sometimes to put water in from the outside. Those nozzles might give us that ability. A third strategy is the high-rise nozzle, which is pushed into a fire from the floor below, which allows firefighters to get water onto the flames. The week-long tests are being funded through a $1 million grant. These strategies have already been adopted by fire departments across the country. As soon as this testing is done and we get the data, we're going to look to move very quickly. FDNY veterans who have fought these high-rise blazes say that anything that would improve the safety of their fellow firefighters and the public is certainly welcome news. They're hoping that these tests hold some answers. Mike Sheehan, Fox 5 News. A former television news anchor is in